Welcome to the channel. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at Community Report 74 for Workers and Resources Soviet Republic. This was published on the 15th of May 2023, and it relates to the integration of mods into the Waste Update, which is going to be quite an interesting move, and I'm looking forward to seeing what is added to the game. So what I'm going to do is just read through the paragraphs, and then we're going to look at the pictures as we go through. So let's just get started. It says, Greetings, dear comrades of the Soviet Republic and all devotees of our glorious game. We are thrilled to share with you the latest dispatch from the heart of our development team. With the same fervor as our comrades in the factories and fields, we have initiated internal testing a week ago. This has equipped us with a treasure trove of valuable insights, allowing us to focus more on refining our game mechanics rather than simply adding new features. That's good to hear the fact that they now moved on to internal testing. That means they're starting to really um, sort out any potential bugs and issues related to this update which is a very complex update so i mean even when it gets into the steam test branch we can't expect it to be perfect because it is such a wide-ranging update anyway i'm going to skip over the picture we'll just go down to the next paragraph there's our previous reports bursting with exhilarating updates have prepared the groundwork for the central theme of this dispatch the in integration of mods this may not cause a revolution in the hearts of all, but indeed a milestone in our collective journey. And we're bringing new buildings and vehicles into our socialist utopia, enriching, enriching the landscape of our game. While we admire the vast array of mods that grace our workshop, we're unable to incorporate them all. Some mods, unfortunately, cannot be added due to licensing issues as they were purchased from modders themselves from other creators. Fear not, comrades. We have already incorporated several mods into the game and are tirelessly working to add more. We've reached out to the hardworking mod creators who have consistently produced the excellent work and original work. And I, I must admit, of all the games I've played, the sheer scope of the mods that are available in this game is, is breathtaking. You know, I'm just going to take a look at a few pictures. One at the top here, I think it's just a general picture of the buildings. It doesn't give us any information whether it's mods, but... It's quite a spectacular picture though with the building in the center there in fact i think this will be the thumbnail so we'll just come down to the next one this one's got could have a little bit more detail on it um actually i think what we'll do is i'm just going to read the, the paragraph underneath because i think these relate to these two pictures above among these industrious individuals is Comrade Robo74, a name that might ring familiar. His unique mods for residential and industrial facilities have caught our attention. We are in close collaboration with him, and his tireless work promises to deliver an array of high-quality building variants to our game. Soon we'll witness new residential areas, schools, kindergartens, and sports facilities, all with the distinct touch of Comrade Robo74. I must admit, I do like Robo's uh, mods because they, uh, uh, because they they look uh, they look modern, which is not I always want, but they seem to fit into what you would call a socialist um, city. I think it's partly due to the fact that he draws from real life examples. Anyway, let's just take a look at the pictures. What we got here is we got a sports hall, hall, uh, a low quality rural flat. Uh, can't see which flats are highlighted, and it says the gas station the gas station is on the right here just above the tab this is the sports hall looks like it's actually got a swim pool in it that's pretty cool i like that i'm not i'm assuming that maybe the flats is this one here just to the right uh low quality flats <laughs> um yeah it's, it's it's only got 20 well i've only got 20 workers in it but that could be quite useful to fit in there i do like the sports hall though that looks pretty cool with the outdoor swimming pool there and of course, so you can see here, these have already got the main building maintenance and the internal garbage storage in there as well. So I wonder if that one, this um, ball court here, down here, is it going to be included as well? That look, I mean, that looks pretty cool as well, actually. I quite like that. The gas station, well, uh, so we'll just get that down. We'll just come down below and look at the next picture. This one working round, starting in the top left, we've got a kindergarten with 23 places in, which I'm assuming is that H-shaped building there. We've got another kindergarten with 16 places in. A lot of staff. Ah, a lot. Of, uh, maybe it's only got seven staff, so maybe it's going to have a few more spaces than that. We've got a school here. We've got, um, it says Max 45. Uh maybe that will take the school 
So we've got two schools here as well. I can't, it's a bit difficult to tell what the picture actually is. And we've got a small school down here as well. So it's nice to see we've got a range of schools and a range of kindergartens as well. It's, it's just not, we're not just seeing, it's a bit difficult to tell which one's which. I'm guessing maybe the smaller H here is the, the bottom left. This is the bottom right. And then the one at the top there, yeah. Is, so we've got three sizes of kindergartens. And it looks like we've got three sizes of school as well. We've got a small school door here. And then the medium one in the center, which is what's probably clicked on. And then we got the large one in the background there as well. So yeah, it's all pretty good. I, I could like I like the style though. That's that's what I I really like about Robo's work, is that it fits into what you'd sit regard as a Soviet city. So we're just going to move down. And so what we'll do is we'll skip down over the picture to the next paragraph. It says. But the, but the march of progress doesn't stop there with Robo 74. He's bringing us a various, very, but the march of progress doesn't stop there with Robo 74. He's also bringing us various of industrial buildings, grain silos, aggregate storage, and railway facilities, adding a whole new dimension and variety. Besides there, these, there, you can look forward to a small prison, a small communist HQ, and a small secret police officer. His innovation and contributions to waste management and maintenance are truly commendable. Now, this one here looks like we've got a silos here and actually looking at these, I think these are actually currently available in the workshop because I've, I've, I think I've used these mods because I'm subscribed to these. And they're quite neat little buildings. In fact, they, they run very well. And one feature is, is I think the, the one in the foreground is the grain silo, not the grain silo, the aggregate silo. And it actually has a, a pass through connection. At the bottom here, if I come back into the picture, I think you could, this is a connection there. Or oh, maybe it's the opposite way around. <laughs> anyway, guys, uh, so what we'll do now is just move down to the next picture. What we've got here is on the bottom left is a secret police um, station. We've got a small prison. Looks like Mac, Mac, it says here, Max 15 warders, 45 prisoners. Because one of the problems you've got with the current in-game prison is that it's a little bit big and it it can be a bit difficult to fit it into a city. So having a smaller prison um, will make a difference. There's also a little bit of a spin-off here as well. The fact that if you rather than building big central prisons, you could build smaller prisons and then use the workforce within your capability here. Oh, I think there's another feature also. I, I don't know if you guys can actually see it because the print is a bit small. But the prison security bar now has actually got a percentage on it rather than just being a red bar going over. And this is going to be one of the new features that's going to be added to this update is the fact that the bars will now have percentages on them. What we've got over here is the small headquarters. Of course, with this now, we're going to have to conduct research as related to the headquarters. Hopefully there will be smaller versions of the medical university and the technical university because the in-game ones are just so big at the moment. This model follows through so that we've got um, similar sized buildings with that level of staff, especially with the fact that the new update will require research on all three buildings. So that is there. So what we're gonna do now, so I'm just gonna move down and read the next paragraph. It says, next in line is Comrade Superplunger who has created a remarkable collection of Western railroad vehicles his locomotives and wagons will soon be part of our game. We have a commissioned additional models from him. Wow. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> have a look at this one. These, I think these are electric trains, aren't they? They got the overhead um, uh, gantries. I quite like the one in the front. I like that, the artwork on that. That's pretty cool, actually. And then we've got little shunting trains. Now these are interesting because uh, so far I've never really used the shunting trains, especially these as they're diesel. But with the new update, there's a possible, with the fact that we may have to maintain vehicles, maybe little shunting trains like this might be useful, especially if you start building your own vehicle, um, trains, and locos, because you're going to need a small train like this maybe to move around wagons and deliver wagons because at the moment I just tend to use the one in there. Now this is a distribution office with a nice collection of wagons in it as well. Um well yeah they look pretty good they look really great actually I like them. 
Last but not least, we wish to acknowledge Comrade um, for Smiler. His train's already chugging along in our game and it's hard work and designing more wagons for us. Yeah, um, I think I recognise this. I think I've subscribed to these trains. Is, uh, they are electric trains and if any of you follow my series, you know that I'm, I tend to be a bit more fixated on uh, electric trains. Although I have made a resolution in the sense that in my next series, we are going to play around with diesel trains. And then what we got here is a couple of nice little shunters here, actually, as well. Little toy shunters. Again, I think they, these may actually have a role going forward. I'm just moving down to the last paragraph. It says, that's all we can reveal today about mod incorporation, comrades, but we will continue our collaborative efforts with these and other modders, further enhancing the game with their spectacular creations. If, if you have any, I have, if you have ideas and suggestions, the Steam Forum is your platform for voicing them. As you can see, even without adding new features, we can make significant progress by integrating high quality buildings and vehicles. We elevate our game to new heights. We understand the demand for size variations and alternatives, and we strive to create a cater for all comrades who prefer in-game options over workshop mods. The dedicated work of our modders makes that possible, and for that, we are truly grateful. So just get down to the final paragraph. It says, that concludes our report, comrades. The internal testing continues with the tenacity of the Soviet tractor as we sift through feedback and make necessary refinements. Your patience is appreciated as we prepare for the next stage and the public release of our update. As always, we will keep you informed on our forthcoming reports. In the meantime, stay safe, enjoy life, and keep the spirit of the game alive. Yep, I think this represents a fantastic way forward. And I think, hopefully, the even after the game goes into full release, that the developers continue to integrate mods just to keep include the, the breadth of the game and make it far more interesting. Anyway, guys, this is where I'm going to leave it. hope you enjoyed the video. hope you found it interesting. Any comments, opinions, feel free to chuck it in the video description. And until next time, whatever you do, enjoy your gaming.